so far we have two jobs one is freestyle job another one is pipeline job now we are going to actually see jenkins as code that is jenkins configuration as code so jenkins as code refers to practice of defining and configuring jenkins as code so we are not going to configure jenkins on a fresh installation rather we will write code to configure jenkins with required plugins with required jobs and variables so everything all the configuration that of jenkins that we have created so far manually will be automated using jenkins as code so jenkins as code allows you to specify its configuration using a programming language or declarative file so first of all we are going to remove the jenkins installation that we have done so far so let's go back to our terminal and here stop the jenkins service so i'm just going to run sudo systemctl stop jenkins put a password for sudo then check if it is running sudo systemctl status jenkins so jenkins is no more running it's inactive now run sudo apt auto remove jenkins so we are simply uninstalling and removing jenkins now run sudo rm minus rf slash where slash lib slash jenkins because that is where the jenkins home folder or home directory was present now let's go back to the code repository and here i have a bash script so as you can see the bash script is doing an apt update and then it is installing open jdk 11 and then it is installing jenkins and it is enabling jenkins and starting jenkins so whatever we have done manually previously like running this command explicitly in the terminal now what we are going to do is using this bash script we are going to automate the installation so i'm going to simply run this bash script and it will install jenkins for us so let's go ahead and do this so i'm going to run this script dot slash install jenkins.sh please make sure to make this script executable using command sudo ch mode plus x the installation is complete let's see if it is running so run command sudo system cdl status jenkins and as you can see it is running go back to browser and then let us refresh this or you can open a new tab and run localhost colon 8080 so again it is asking for admin password which is in this file so let us go back to terminal and put this let's clear the screen and cat the file copy the password and paste it here click on continue and we are going to install suggested plugins or we can just simply close this click on start using jenkins this time we haven't installed plugins because we are going to install them through jenkins as code so we have simply installed Jenkins using automation using a bash script. Now we are going to install the remaining plugins and have environment variables using Jenkins as code. For this go to manage Jenkins and click on user. Click on create user. Give a username apichip and put a password and then confirm password and provide a full name and click on create user. So we have a user admin. Now we are going to log out and try to log in with the admin user. Put username and the password and click on sign in. Okay, now we are logged in with Apichip user. Click on manage Jenkins and go to Jenkins CLI and click on Jenkins CLI dot jar. Okay, we have Jenkins CLI dot jar file downloaded already. Now we have a bash script install plugin.sh so in this script we are iterating over all the plugins that is present in plugins.txt file and we are running this jenkins cli.jar file and we have provided jenkins url that is localhost colon 8080 and here is the list of the plugins that we want and then using auth we are specifying the username and password and then we are specifying the option to install plugin and then we are providing dollar plugin that is the variable that will have the value from plugin.txt file and once that is done we are running the java hyphen jar and we are running jenkins cli jar file 
by providing URL of the Jenkins and the authorization using a user and password and we are doing a safe restart. So once all these plugins are installed using Jenkins CLI, we are restarting Jenkins. Now we are going to run the install plugin.sh and it is running. So it is installing all the plugins that was mentioned in the file. So as you can see the output, it is installing all those one by one. Okay, it's done now. Let's go back to Jenkins and go to dashboard and then we need to log in using Apache user. Click on sign in. So now we have installed the plugins. Next task is to configure Jenkins. We are going to create a YML file which will include configuration for the following things that is Jenkins environment variable, credentials, tools configuration like Git, Maven, JDK and a freestyle and pipeline job. We are going to save this YML at a desired location. For example, it can be stored in slash where lib Jenkins config. Then we are going to navigate to manage Jenkins and configuration as code. And then we are going to put the path of this YML file and click on apply new configuration. Let's go inside where lib Jenkins and create a directory mkdir config. And then we are going to create the YML file here. So let's go inside config folder and then create a file using Vim. We will call it as Jenkins.yml. And here we are going to use the code from our GitHub repo that is jcask.yml. So this is the YML file that we are going to use. So before copy pasting this, let me explain what this file is about and what it is doing. Let us go to the repository. So as you can see here, this YML file is used for automatically configuring the jobs. We are setting Jenkins setting and we are setting system message Jenkins configured automatically by Jenkins configuration as code plugin. And then we are specifying node properties and under this we are specifying environment variables. One variable is variable one. It has value foo. Another one is variable two. It has value bar. And then we are configuring tools. One of them is git and we are specifying the installation name and home as git and the installation name is maven and the home directory is user bin mvn and then we are saying installation of jdk with name java 11 and the home directory is user bin java then we are setting certain credentials these are settings system domain credentials and under credentials we have username and password scope is set to global id is my credential we are specifying a description and then you will provide username and password for it. So this is all about Jenkins configuration. Now we are also saying to this configuration file to create two jobs for us. One of them is a freestyle job and another one is the pipeline job. The very first job and its script. The job name is freestyle job and here are the steps and it has steps as shell script. So here is the shell script code. So we have another job and it is of type pipeline job which is why we have pipeline job mentioned here and the name of this job is pipeline hyphen job and this is the syntax we need to have definition and for SCM that is source code management we are using git and the remote repository is apache slash Jenkins and the script path here is Jenkins as code pipeline job dot groovy so this is all the Jenkins jcast.yml file is doing so let's copy this and put it in the file that we have just created over here. So we have pasted this and saved this. So this is the path. Copy this and go back to Jenkins dashboard. And here go to manage Jenkins and go to configuration as code. And here put the URL of that file and click on apply new configuration. So if you just provide wrong file, it will give an error. So just provide the right file name, click on apply new configuration. So as you can see, it is saying configuration loaded from where lib Jenkins and last time it got applied is go to dashboard. And as you can see, we have two jobs created already freestyle job and pipeline job. All these got created using the YML file, go to system and we are going to check the environment variable as well. So scroll down. And these are the environment variable that got created using our YML file. 
so this is how we set up Jenkins using configuration rather than manually setting up so once this YML file is created you just need to run it or apply it on a new Jenkins setup and all your configuration jobs and everything will be in place